We're gaming lobby here picking up from where we left in the previous video. Today I'll show you how to replicate the base we made. You can see two of them here on my working mat. I textured them with the lime as I did in the previous video, but I did not paint them. Reach for the cheapest caulk silicone you can find, grab some cornstarch, and finally a big disposable food container. Notice I am wearing gloves because this is a really messy process. And I'm also doing this outside. When you're ready, you squeeze the amount you need in the container using a caulking gun and add a proper amount of starch. You have to eyeball this quantity. I have never properly measured the ratio, but you can do fine without measuring. What I usually do is mixing the stuff together, looking for a sort of clay consistency mix that doesn't stick to your hands. Add starch or silicone to the mix until you get the right consistency. Here's what I mean. Do you see it? It looks like polymer clay. When you reach the perfect consistency, just grab your silicone putty and press it on the bases you want to copy. You should press it evenly around the bases, to avoid air pockets. But as you can see, my left hand did not press enough. You will see the result when unmolding. When you think you have properly covered the whole bases, just grab your favorite roller pin and make the mold flat. Now that's the top of the mold, but when casting the resin it will become the back and you want it to sit flat on your desk, so be precise. This is basically everything you need to do. Now just wait for it to go solid. You may also want to square it out with a cutter knife for aesthetic reasons, but I did this off cam. After 5 hours, I'm back to unmolding the bases and see what happened. As already previewed earlier, you can see the base on the left was not properly surrounded by silicone, but the one on the right was perfect. It's not a huge deal though, you may come back at it the next time you do this kind of molds and touch it up, or just remix some just for repair purposes. Also. Notice that the bases did not stick to the silicone even if I didn't use any mold release agent. So you understand why I think this dry silicone mold is the way to go. Relatively clean, cheap and almost foolproof. I'm not going to cast any resin in this small mold as it was just for demonstration. I also already have the two masters so I don't really need any more copies of them. But if you make a sheet with 10 different bases it will be really really easy to batch make tons of them in no time and really cheap. Maybe the dry silicone mold method doesn't stand up to the liquid silicone, but for a cheap alternative it does the trick pretty well. What do you guys think? If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe so I can keep making more. And don't forget to leave your comments and critics in the comment section below so I can keep improving. Thank you for watching.